Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we're gonna play with the Baofeng UV5G Plus. Not a UV5R, and it's a Plus model, and look at that, bigger screen. It's gonna be fun, let's get to it. So there are actually two radios in this box, like that. And these are GMRS radios, and they have a pretty cool new user interface. So let me get this stuff unpacked real quick for you, and we'll show you what all the magic is inside. Told you it was windy. All right, so what we get is two USB charging cables. These are USB-A to USB-C. We get two belt clips, we get two battery chargers, we get two long antennas, two short antennas, two super secret top agent FBI earpieces. We get the world famous user's manual and we get a single programming cable. Fantastic, that's all great stuff. The batteries, uh, they are both identical, I believe. 2,500 milliamp hours, 2,500 milliamp hours, that is correct. The FCC ID, for those of you playing along at home, are 2AJGM-5G+. So let's plug them in. That's one. And it says GMRS, just in case you were curious and forgot before you took your battery off to look to figure out what kind of radios these were. But there you have it. I'm gonna stick the antenna on while we're playing, I'm gonna stick the short one on. And then this one here, I'm gonna leave off for some later testing. I'm gonna put all the rest of this stuff back in the box. All right, let's turn it on. Welcome. Welcome, Try that's my go. favorite friend. And this is outside, so it's a little hard to see on the camera, but it's fine in personal light, and it's not even at full brightness. But this is a color screen. There's a blue background with some white text. Yeah, you're not gonna see that at all. I'll get you some better shots rolled in. All right, so it has all the familiar Baofeng features that you're used to, only in GMRS and color screen flavor. All right, that's doing a search by holding in the green button, and it'll search UHF, VHF, and 220, which leads me to believe that this is a ham radio that's got lockdown firmware to get you on to GMRS only. Welcome. So let's try that. Mode. Frequency mode, one, four, Six, five, two. And it's giving every indication that it's transmitting. Let's plug in the other radio. All right, that one's locked. That's funny. All right, so that one is locked. Let's try this one again. Oh, this one is unlocked. That's interesting. I got one unlocked radio and one locked radio in the box. So there is an unlock code. We'll look for that in a little bit. I'm sure it's the typical three finger salute that you give the Baofeng radios. On. So FM radio Off. by pushing the orange button on the top. Menu. <laughs> I went into menu and it's completely blank. Menu. Oh, it's red. It's red on black, so you can't see that outside. Let me see if I can find a screen color thing here. Yep. I'm not seeing anything at all, let alone the fact that it's hard to see. So I'm gonna play with this indoors a little bit more where I can actually see a little bit better. We'll come back to that in a minute. But while I'm out here, I've got my Shorecom. I'm gonna test power output. The newer Shorecom testers don't seem to come with the ground plane. And I've looked a couple of times to try and find them. But if you have a, oh, my flashlight's blinking. If you have a, uh, let me turn that off. Yep, so it's got one of those flashlight thingies. If you have a regular old tiger tail, that'll work on this as well. All right, our Shorecom is powered on and we have our power level check here. Our SWR in the center. So at high power, this is putting out 6.8 watts and a two to one SWR with the short antenna, and that's on 146.52, which this is supposed to be a GMRS radio, so I'm not gonna complain too much about the two to one SWR. But let's put on the big antenna just to check. And 7.22 watts at 10 to one SWR, <laughs> even better. Let's do something more for what this is actually made for though. 
and we'll go into a GMRS channel and we're at 2.3 watts, that's on low power, and 2.3 to 1 SWR. Confirm. There we go, there's high power. All right, on high power, 6.2 watts out, 2.64 to 1 on the big antenna on GMRS frequencies like this radio was designed for. Yeah. 7 watts, 12 to 1 SWR on high power. That's crazy. And on low power, 1.8 watts, and 4.6 watts at 11 to 1 SWR on low power, on middle power. All right, I'd say use the big boy antennas. Well, that was an interesting radio. So I did a couple of different things on it. One thing I can tell you for sure is that the screen is not good in daylight and it's, the menu part is not much better indoors. The menu is red text on a blue background. I don't know why they like doing red text on a blue background, but red text on a blue background is impossible to see in the best of conditions. And the screen doesn't get brighter indoors and it also doesn't get better looking indoors in terms of the menu settings on it. I tried to program in a local GMRS repeater. It says it's 11 miles away according to repeater book and it didn't work. So I did a little bit more research. While I was doing some research, I heard it go off in the background. You can hear it a little bit on and off in the back of the video. I heard it go off in the background. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I got up on top of my RV and tried to reach, you know, height equals might kind of thing and still wasn't able to open it up from my side. And then I found out that the repeater isn't 11 miles away. It's 50 some miles away by car and 60 some, 60 some miles away as the crow flies. So why I'm able to hear it must be this big old antenna. I don't know. They gave me a short set of antennas and a long set of antennas. The long antenna is the one to use. The short one does not have the right SWR match for the radio. And I would kind of, I would urge you strongly to not use the small antenna if you get it. Other than that, it's a pretty neat little updated radio and it is $34.99 for a single and $68.99 for a two pack. The two pack is currently in stock as of the time of making this video. The one pack will probably be back later. Get the two pack, save 50 cents. Totally worth it, right? Right. So I got one that was unlocked and one that was locked. I tried the typical three finger salute that Balfangs have been famous for over the years and that didn't work. I also tried the PTT plus number and that didn't work to unlock the locked model. It didn't do any damage, it just didn't unlock anything. I also tried to listen in on airband frequencies. It won't even let you enter them in. The one that was unlocked did have the scan feature. So I'm actually kind of thinking I might have gotten a different model with a different sticker on it. I don't know, but that's the fun of Baofangs, right? There's a link in the description down below where you can get these radios. And if you get the two pack, I think that's where you hit the discount threshold to even save some more money by getting the two pack. The menu structure looks exactly like all the other Baofang menu structures do. So very familiar stuff there. Easy enough to program from the front panel. Uh, you can use it with Chirp and it does come with the included programming cable and it does have a frequency copy function. So there's some pretty interesting things about it. If you don't have one, is it worth getting? For the price, probably, which is the standard answer for any Baofang. If you have more money to spend, I have a video here about the BTEC GMRS Pro. And if you just wanna play around with this radio, I have a video here about the frequency copy function and some of the other functions on the UV17, which has the same menu structure and internal coding as the UV5G+. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.